Welcome to our tip 57. And today we're going to be talking about exploratory data X-ray analysis, EDXA. This is a term I just made up. It's because we're using the data X-ray package. It's something new uh, that I've been checking out and I love it. It's got a lot of amazing capabilities. So you can see, actually see it here. And this is what it does. It allows you to X-ray, get X-ray insights into your data set. So right here, I'm going to be looking at the MPG data set. I'll show you that here in a second, but you can see each of the different variables are in here and you can see that it's got the type labeled. Uh, it's got the name, it's got the observed, the percentage missing, the number of distinct values, and then a chart, this really cool kind of spark chart here uh, that's in this table. And then you can expand on these and you can see what the lowest and highest are by each uh, different category. And then you can uh, do the same thing for the numeric variables, like at the displacement, you can see interquartile ranges and stuff. So this really does give you those X-ray insights. So let's see how to use this for your data set. All right, to get started, you're going to make sure you have the GitHub repo installed the free art tips github repo um, you're going to do a git pull what that'll do is it'll pull in all of the tutorials that we have we're up to 057 right now data x-ray we're going to be working out of that and i'm going to open up this data x-ray.r file that's this file right here all right um first thing we've got the documentation and some requirements here that we're going to have to go through so uh what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to install this package from github it's not available on cran quite yet as of this recording um, so you're just going to do dev tools install github and that'll install the data x-ray package next what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use this library here uh tidyverse uh data x-ray and correlation funnel so just run all three of these and what that'll do is it'll load the tidyverse our core library for data analysis then the data x-ray package the focus of today and then we've got a bonus i'm going to show you how to team up and use one of my eda packages the correlation funnel package along with data x-ray all right the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to use the mpg data set so mpg data set here it is uh, what this is is a table of 234 rows by 11 columns and this has all of the different manufacturers and models and then all sorts of attributes about these vehicles. So uh, what we're trying to analyze is the highway fuel economy. So there's city and highway. Uh, city is 18 miles per gallon, uh, 29 miles per gallon highway for this particular vehicle. It's an Audi A4. Uh, year 1999 four cylinder um, and then you can see displacement what the size of the engine is uh, and this is in a cubic liters and then the class of the vehicle and what transmission and how many cylinders it has so a lot of good information on a bunch of different vehicles we're going to analyze those today we're first going to use data x-ray to do x-ray data analysis data exploratory data x-ray analysis all right so here's how we use it check this out it's super easy if we just do mpg and then it's gonna we can use this make x-ray function so what this does is it creates a data frame from this uh, data set uh, and it creates it row wise so we've got all of these different kind of nested data structure it looks a little crazy and we're not going to use this specifically but then we're going to run it through this function called view x-ray what view x-ray does is it makes this fantastic plot over here that you're seeing and you can see it's just uh, made this plot this plot is great let me expand this thing for you so you can see all of the good information that we get now it's got this handy button up here expand and collapse all um, so we can see all of the insights and then if you have like a label or a name that you want to search for so say i want just the um, highway fuel economy i can just quickly filter down to that um, so then I can just quickly get to the variables of interest if I want to check those out and, and get information on all of the different insights about this feature. Now, what's really cool is, so if I just delete that and then, uh, expand collapse, um, what's, what's really cool is it has it separated by different variable type. So all of the different types, if I sort here, this is all sortable. And I can quickly get to all the numeric types or all the character types of data. And then I can, if I highlight these, this like spark line or plotly, like I'm not sure what it is, but it's just like a mini plotly plot. And you can highlight and get different insights about 
uh, each of these different variables. So I see the highway has a bimodal distribution. I see there's 17 uh, that are, or number 31 that are at 17 miles per gallon highway. And then there's like 26 spiking up here, um, uh, 32 at 26 miles per gallon and so on. So you can see a couple of different things, different insights, and it gives you kind of clues of what you want to take a look at. So this is, this is great. I really love this package. Um, one other cool aspect is we can actually uh, explore by group. So if you want to do, uh, say you have groups in your data set, like the class, for example, so if I take a look at the MPG data set again, uh, there's this class and it might be compact. You see there's compact SUV, midsize, subcompact, and so on. We can actually explore this by group and run um, this X-ray on. Now, we'll take a little bit more time depending on how many groups you have in your data set. So if you do this on a ton of groups, uh, it's probably not gonna go that fast. Um, so it should be done here in a second. Boom, there it's done. So you got um, all the groups in here. And if I wanna just inspect the two seeders, now I can just check out and see those, that group specifically. Or if I wanna check out, say, the subcompact, uh, if I wanna look at that those um, data points specifically, and you can kind of drill in to each one of these now. All right, just another way to kind of drill into your data. Now, um, I will say this, uh, there is also this report functionality that's in this next section here. Um, and I'll show you where we're at, we're right here in the outline. Um, this report functionality, I did not get good results. I have it set up to create the report, but when I rendered it, um, I must have ran into a bug. So I'll have to debug it further and see what's up with that. But uh, we'll just skip that functionality. What I want to do is I want to wrap up with this awesome kind of one-two combo. So one of the things you might do is when you go and investigate this, so if I go back to the last um, table, uh, and I say, okay, well, this is what I want to look into. And I can see that there's this bimodal relationship. Maybe I want to understand, you know, what correlates to this highway fuel economy. So what we can do is take the insights that we've gotten from using this X-ray, a data X-ray package, and then take it to the next step and do some, get some insights with another package I specifically created called correlation funnel. Um, we'll take my MP, the MPG data set, and what we'll do is we'll use the correlation funnel process. I'm gonna binarize first, and that makes, that splits the data up into a bunch of different columns. You can see there's 234 now by 96 columns. So 11 columns now got broken out and binned, and there's a bunch of zeros and ones. So if we glimpse this, we can see all of those uh, columns. And what I'm looking in here for now is um, I, I wanna see, I wanna take a look at the highway. So I see start to see highway right here, and I'm gonna pick out one. I may wanna take a look at what, what's the lowest highway or usually the highest highway, and I wanna see what's correlated with those. So I'm gonna take a look at the highest highway. I wanna see what is correlated with the highest highway. So I, I grab that, I put, I put that in here. I'm gonna put it in some back ticks, just like it has right down here, or I guess we actually don't need to use back ticks. Um, if it has back ticks down here, then you'll want to use that. So get rid of those. I'm going to use the correlate function from the correlation funnel package. And then it's going to create a feature bin and correlation. And then I'm going to then use the plot correlation funnel function. So what that'll do is allow me now to then take the next step and focus in on the highest fuel economy. So those vehicles that have 27 to infinity and we can see what's correlated. So we can see that city, if city is 19 to infinity, um, then it's very highly correlated with um, the highway fuel economy. Same thing with displacement. Now, displacement's kind of an inverse correlation. So the lower the displacement, the smaller the engine size, the higher the correlation with the highway fuel economy. Uh, fu uh, cylinders, four, so lower cylinders is, is more correlated with highway versus eight is uh, more correlated or in inversely correlated. Um, so the, the higher the cylinders, the lower the, uh, the, the um, highway fuel economy tends to go uh, and so on. If you are interested in learning more and your data science progress has stopped or you're looking to upskill as fast as possible, then I have a, an awesome opportunity for you. It's my 10 Secrets Masterclass. It's actually free. 
Uh, it's available for you for free. It's 40 minutes. And what it does is it goes through all the 10 secrets to becoming a data scientist with the R programming language, my favorite language. Uh, it's the same language that I use to accelerate my career when I work for companies. And uh, now, and then when I got into consulting, I used all of these tools uh, in my tool chain. And then now I teach those tools. Uh, so you're just going to go to this website, check it out right here. It's the free R track masterclass at learn.business-science.io free R track masterclass. 